Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're opening up three boxes and these are all like spiritual, witchy, esoteric type boxes. We have the May box for God's provisions, the moon spell box, and I believe this is their truth spell, we will see. And then the Weevolve, um, this is the book box. So the Wisdom Keepers book box, it's bi-monthly. So I am super excited to see what's inside. All of the boxes will be linked down below along with any codes or anything like that. Also down below, I will link my other channel if you're into this type of stuff, my tarot channel, Kitty Rising. I would absolutely love it if you checked that out and subscribe if you enjoy it if you haven't already. Thank you to everyone who has checked out that channel and this one too. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. But let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Let's start with Goddess Provisions. So again, this is the May box. And right now in May, I just saw an email. They have a promotion. Motion. If you subscribe for a 3, 6, or 12 month plan, then you get a free box, the ritual box. I believe it's a subscription I opened last month. So that is just automatically applied if you subscribe throughout May. Um, and also I have a code with them to save $5 off your first box. And you can use both of those together because you don't need a code for the free um, ritual box if you subscribe for three or more months at a time. Um, and so you can use that code to save money and get the free box. So that box is great. I love God's Provisions. It's one of my all-time favorite boxes. I say that all the time because it's remained that way for a while now. <laughs> I love it. And I did peek inside and I feel like the theme is abundance. I didn't look at all the items, but I'm like super excited. I wasn't able to film right away because I haven't had Wi-Fi for two whole weeks, but it's back now. So yeah, super excited. But let's get this open and see what the theme is. Yeah, so they open up abundance flows to me. I love that. So yeah, this is all I saw. So I'm guessing we have an abundance theme. I love that. So you get a little piece of paper here that talks about all of the items that come inside and also doubles as an art piece. And this is definitely one I'm going to be hanging up because I'm always trying to bring forth more abundance. Yes. And prosperity is a theme. And it looks like we have a ritual kit. They've been doing that a lot in their boxes lately. I love it and they also have something here on the side about information on creating a money bowl so you get like multiple rituals it seems this is awesome i love god's provisions um and i did i tell you the price is 33 dollars a month sorry if i forgot um they're awesome they're eco-friendly they plant a tree for every subscription they have like a loyalty program frill program um they have a shop too on their website you can check out as well but i love god's provisions so much Let's start with that kit, the Money Magic Ritual Kit. And I love how all their items always have affirmations on it. This says, I attract and maintain abundance. So everything that comes inside is on the back. Let's see. There's star anise, pyrite, jasmine, chamomile, and cinnamon. And they have ritual inspiration. So you can choose how you use this. They give you multiple ideas. A mystic money bowl, a green growth candle ritual, or create a money jar. I'm so excited about this. And it comes in a resealable bag. Super convenient. I totally made that like love oil a few months back. Remember that? I think that was February. I'm trying to remember what the last one was. So I love how everything comes in this. So here's Jasmine and it says this flower welcomes love and confidence. And on the back it says, Queen of the Night. Jasmine has traditionally been used to bring about good fortune. And there's a good amount in here too. And also resealable bags. Love it. Star Anise. I don't know if I have any of this. The herb invites luck and success. Swamp Star. Star Anise has traditionally been used for protection and to welcome abundance. <laughs> and then Pyrite. The stone that strikes fire. Pyrite has traditionally been used to protect positive energy and welcoming good fortune. It invites confidence and success. I love it. Should we? You know, I'm not going to take all the herbs out, but let's look at the pyrite. I have a piece of pyrite. Um, I have a money altar. I, it could use some refreshing and <laughs> cleaning and stuff. But it's also called like fool's gold pyrite. You may have heard of if you don't know what it is. Oh, look, my nails scream abundance too. Is it not focusing? Super shiny and fun. Love it. And then we have two more things in this kit. The chamomile, this herb is soothing and attracts well. The plant's physician. Chamomile has traditionally been used to aid in sleep and meditation. And again, we have a lot in here, which is nice. I'm running low on my chamomile. And then cinnamon bark. This herb invites protection and prosperity. Also called sweetwood. 
Cinnamon has traditionally been used to bring in abundance and secure sacred spaces. I love cinnamon. I use it every day in my coffee and I say an affirmation. I love it. Awesome. So I'm just going to put this all back in the kit or attempt to. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and let's see what this costs. So this has a $25 value. That's awesome. Create your own prosperity rituals with this set that includes all the herbs and instructions you'll need. Yeah, there's instructions with each of those three um, ideas that I was talking about earlier. Make a mystic money bowl, a money jar, perform a green growth candle ritual. That was, <laughs> uh, using the herbs and crystal provided. So exciting. Ooh, the next thing we have is perfect for this abundant spell candle set. These look like they're good sized candles. Also by God's provisions, abundance flows to me is the affirmation on here. Embody the energy of each candle and watch as the flame dances. The white is for all debts cleared. Green, call in money. Yellow, magnetize opportunities and gold. Abundance now. Four paraffin wax candles and a ceramic candle holder. This is awesome. How much is this? This is a $14 value. Oh, I'm so excited. The ceramic thing is in here. Come out. I love that they gave us the holder too. That's so convenient. Let's look at it. Oh my God. And it is so cute. Look, it has little money stuff on it. Oh my God. How perfect. You guys, this is like my favorite box ever. Oh my God. I totally use all of this. I'm so excited. Candles, filler candles, good size. Here's what they look like. Awesome. So excited. So those first two things are multiple things, <laughs> um, but also is more than the value of the box or what you pay for the box. The value is definitely higher than what you pay. Uh, but now I map out my desire with crystal magic. Uh, lunar abundance crystal grid set. There's green adventuring crystal chips, clear quartz, uh, and then a crystal grid map. Let's try to read this back in. <laughs> In this cute bag. So this has a $25 value. Oh, I'm excited to see this. We still have multiple things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this box always inspires me. You know, I love that. Okay. So here is the crystal grid. This is a good size. This will be perfect to put on money altar. Ooh, I'm so inspired to clean my nap and like fix it up and stuff. So, yes. It was like the flower of life. This is super cute. I love it. And then we have a little thing here. I map out my desire with crystal magic and it gives you crystal grid manifestation ritual. Welcome. Courage, happiness, and confidence into your life. Green adventuring paths lead to clear quartz center to amplify all of your intentions and talks more about it there. And then talks more about the crystals that come inside too. I love all the information. So here is our quartz, our clear quartz point. And then we have a decent amount of adventuring chips. These are bigger than I thought when they said chips. Nice. I am super excited about that. You guys, this is awesome. Next, we have a golden altar bowl. So you can use this for your money bowl or any other offerings. Ooh, it's carved on the side. I love all of these items from God's Provisions. I have so much now throughout my space, and they're all beautiful and magical, and I love them. This is awesome. Hopefully, you can see it's a little reflective, but it's beautiful. There's Candles on there, like a little crystal ball, hearts, palm, moon, <laughs> stars. <gasps> this has a $20 value. Enhance your ritual toolkit versatility with this altar bowl. Use it to cleanse your home by carrying it around, create an incense holder by filling it with sand, or hold mystical items like crystals. This bowl is inscribed with magical symbols, including a crystal ball, stars, moon, and candles, and more. <laughs> I love it. And then we have one more thing here. Get this. It's like the cutest little box ever. Oh my god. How cute. Moth and crystals and the moon phases. This is 
awesome. Oh, there's like one a desiccant in there. <laughs> oh, it's lined with purple like felt velvet. This is so cute. I love this. <gasps> Guys, provisions. This is a fairy fortune mango wood box, $18 value. Elevate your sacred space with this enchanting mango wood box featuring a, a beautiful moth and crystals. Elevate crystal design, sorry. <laughs> okay, let me start over with that one. Uh, it features a beautiful moth and crystal design with inlaid brass moon phases. This handcrafted box is the ideal storage space for your crystals and other sacred objects or for creating a money spell. This box has a mango wood exterior and a felted interior with a hinged lid. Yay! And then they have more information on the crystals we received and then a link to their blog post. Discover more magical resources on our blog to help you manifest prosperity. I love that. And again, we have a money bowl ritual over here as well. You guys, this is so awesome. You get so much for $33 or $5 off that if you use my codes, $20. I love God's provisions. I've had for a long time. Highly recommend it. Good quality stuff. A lot of stuff so freaking good and well curated i love it let me know your thoughts down below that just like made my day but we're not done yet we've got other boxes to open let's open next the weevolve box let me get my scissors shoot i know i brought them somewhere am i making a mess already emmy's just staring at me over there like she'll come over here soon when she hears more like <laughs> things coming unwrapped but okay let me get this open and then we'll talk about it all right, I think I got it. So I get the Weevolve boxes through Crate Joy. I'll link them down below. Um, so it's bi monthly, the Wisdom Keepers book box. And they also have an esoteric bi monthly box. So every other month, I get either their book box, which we're opening today, or the esoteric one. I love that they switch it up. The book box is cheaper than the esoteric. I believe it's like $28 or something like that. There's a big fly. I just saw <laughs> I mean, you saw that too. <laughs> um, woo! Oops, sorry. I opened it a little too fast. So I love this. I love reading like a lot. I read all the time. <laughs> I read so much when I didn't have Wi-Fi or anything for a few weeks, but um, it's well curated. It is awesome. I'm like, wait, this is a Wisdom Keepers this time, right? We'll see. But you get a book and then other items as well that go with a theme. And the theme it looks like has to do with alchemy. I am the alchemist of my existence. Okay, it is a Wisdom Keepers box. I like had to double check because I was wrong once. I like said the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are so nice. You're not, you wouldn't care that much. But yeah, alchemy is a theme. And another um, box where you get information on all the items inside, but you can also use this as a print. I always say this, but I have one on my um, tarot table above it. It says, I'm a magnet for wealth and abundance. I love that. Clearly, I love abundance and prosperity work. <laughs> um, awesome. Alchemy. To alchemize, to transmute, to create, to learn, to ascend. These are our collective goals on this earth plane. You are the alchemist of your reality. You are the transmuter of all disharmonious energies and patterns. You are the creatrix of your experience. You are both a student and a teacher. You are creator energy incarnate. As you grow and shift, you uplift those around you, sparkling the divine in all of those you meet. I love that. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see everything we have. Oh, and the, there's a piece of paper, like a grimoire or a book of shadows page. Is this shaking? Sorry if my camera has been shaking this whole time. It's connected to my mic, so I'm like probably moved. <laughs> um, angel numbers, I love this. I see angel numbers all the time. Like I just see this one, I see 44 like every hour and then other places too. So I'm always like, hi angels. <laughs> um, but if you want more information on what they mean, that's awesome. I always recommend like writing down when you see repeating numbers, what came to you or what you're thinking about or doing at that time. Cause sometimes you can get specific messages from your guides. Um, but let's just read 444 so, so we can get a feel of how they, <laughs> how the information is provided. So 444, protection is the keyword. You are being encouraged and divinely guided towards the work you need to complete. Your angels are offering you positive energies, inner strength, and support. You are protected as you continue on your current path to achieve the success and results you desire. I felt called to look at my phone. It was 32211. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to say that to you. But. So let's do 222, alignment. Maintain a harmonious and peaceful outlook in all areas of your life. Keep faith and stand strong in your personal truths in order to achieve alignment in your highest self. I love this. 
And on the bottom, it talks about what angel numbers are, which is nice that they provided that. This is great for your grimoire or book of shadows. Um, so angel numbers are considered to be a recurring number sequence phenomena that have become increasingly prevalent as hundreds of thousands of people worldwide become spiritually conscious. You can hear Emmy. <laughs> Emmy, you're scratching. She's <laughs> so cute. Um, this repetitive, these repetitive number sequences that appear in seemingly random circumstances are messages shown to you by your angels and guides who want to communicate with you in order to, to relay a divine message or inspiration. I love this. I'm totally going to read all of this. Uh, give me all the information. I love it. <laughs> oh, no, it looks like we have um, a little card here. Is this from, it's a little sigil, but I wonder if this is from a deck or what this is. Let's see. Manifestation card by Weevald Box. Cool. Let's read about it. This manifestation card is used for a particular intention for manifestation. A sigil is a symbol that has been created from a statement. It therefore carries the energy of the statement and the intention. To use this card, write your desire for manifestation on the back of the card in present tense. For example, I am so grateful that I have fill in the blank. Um, then give the desire over to the divine. You may place it in an altar box, in a sacred space, or anywhere else you feel called. When the desire becomes manifest in your reality, burn the card and give gratitude. Scatter the ashes to the wind or save for creating protection salt. Awesome. When I make my own sigils, they never like look this cute, but like I love it. <laughs> it inspires me. Okay, what's next? What is this? It looks like sugar or sand or something. It's a bath soak. I'm like sugar. <laughs> I had too much sugar for my birthday. Like I normally don't really eat any, but now I can tell I'm like, I'm breaking out a little bit, which is fine. I'm not going to not indulge, you know, but now I'm like thinking about sugary things more often. The fact that I looked at this and it was like brown sugar in my hand. <laughs> Anyways, alchemized ceremonial bath soak. It definitely does seem like it is a sugar scrub or something like that. So I'm probably not too off or is it salt? let's read about it. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, created with manifestation magic by owner. Wait, created with manifestation magic by owner Courtney. This bath soap is intended to remove blockages, transmute low vibrational energy that is ready to be shifted, and open the road to your desires. You may use this in conjunction with your manifestation card or as a separate process. If you wish, you may use this bath soap as a scrub by mixing it with a little water, oil, or body wash. Set clear intentions with use and be specific in your desires. I need to smell it. Ooh, what does that smell? It smells really good and it's like a pretty common herb I feel like I'm smelling, but I can't, like, it's not coming to me. Mmm, I'm excited. Nice, I want to take more baths. But you can also use this, like, in a shower, like she talked about, as a scrub. So awesome. I love that we get rituals all around the theme you know i think i see crystals oh they're crystal magnets oh, i'm so excited is that pyrite i have one crystal magnet and amethyst and i love it and i'm so excited to have more because this is the type of magnet <laughs> let's see and you can like use put your um manifestation card or whatever your sigil on your fridge so you see it so it looks like we have two pieces of pyrite Love that. More pyrite. <laughs> and then this little one here. This is, oh, I have a, what's the name of this? I'm blanking, but I will look in a second. You see the, those gold streaks in there? But, you know, this box is really perfect for me trying to draw in more abundance, too. I just have a bunch of abundance rituals going on this week. <laughs> so, crystal magnets. In your box, you receive pyrite in rutilated quartz crystal. Magnus, to add a little sparkle to your life. Pyrite is a stone of manifestation and abundance, but also of protection, and it supports the solar plexus chakra. Rutilized, rutilated quartz um, infuses the spirit with chiat-like joy and high vibrational energy. It can be used to encourage communication and flow between the chakras. Like any other quartz, it can be programmed with intentions. These crystals were ethically sourced from a mine in Brazil. I love that they let us know that. I see Palo Santo. I use this every day. I love Palo Santo so much. Mm, so good. I think this is just a little extra. I don't see it listed anywhere. Um, oh my god, is this a little bookmark? I love this. And does it say 333 on it? It does. Look, I'm wearing an angel number right now, the 111. I'm going to read all of them now. <laughs> but look at this. I love this. And this is a 333. 
This is like my new favorite bookmark. I love this so much. Does it say? Oh, the angel number bookmark by Weevolve Box. We created this angel number bookmark to remind you to ask your angels for assistance for whatever you need. Your angels must be asked for help because to intervene without your consent would be a violation of free will choice. They want you to pull them, put them to work on your behalf, and all you have to do is ask. Additionally, there are nine different angel numbers that you could have received, and one was chosen chosen for you is a message from the divine. I love that. I like looked. I'm like, is it 333? It's like almost. <laughs> but I'm like looking for that, but it's 328. <laughs> but let's look up 333. Support. Your guides are near you, and they are responding to your prayers. They wish to help you and assist you in your personal development and progression towards your life purpose and soul mission. I love that. I started to do specific prayers again. I think I received this in this box a while back. Change Me Prayers by Tasha Silver. This is from Weevolve, and I just started to reread it again. And I feel like I've been saying the prayers out loud that resonate and stuff with me, and I love that this is like saying my angels hear my prayers. Thank you. <laughs> um, and 111. Sorry, we're just going to go for it. The video's already long. Enlightenment. Be aware of your persistent thoughts and ideas as they these are manifesting quickly into your reality. Maintain a positive and optimistic mindset in order to draw the energies of abundance and balance into your life. Yes, I wear this to remind me that my thoughts create my reality and try to, um, you know, realize that and be more conscious of what I'm thinking and be kinder to myself. <laughs> uh, so I love that. Yay! The main event, you guys. The book. So excited. Ooh, it, knows it feels really nice. Alchemy, a channeled text by Paul Selig, author of I Am the Word. This is book two, the Beyond the Known trilogy. Ooh, renowned channeler Paul Selig, sounds familiar, shares the wisdom of the guides. In Alchemy, a channeled text, the guide offers a new way to engage in radical transformation. Their words are profound spark of change, pushing us to move beyond a narrow, limited interpretation of the self and into a place of true manifestation. As humanity stands at a crossroads, the voices of the guides offer insight and a path forward. Paul Selig, the author of Beyond the Known, Realization, is one of the foremost spiritual channels in the world. He uses his abilities to bring life-changing messages of the guides to a general audience. Alchemy is composed of the pure, unedited words of the guides as they have, as they have been channeled through Paul. Their message is poignant, poignant and beautifully written, humming with wisdom and insight for all who are ready and willing to receive their words. This has a $17 value. This is so exciting. The gift of the times you sit in, humanity at a crossroads, is the gift of the unknown, the unseen, the unprepared for. How can I prepare for the future when all I have trusted and believed in seems to be falling away? You say yes to an uncertain moment. You agree that the path before you will be lit as you walk in and not a moment before. I love that. I'm super excited about this, you guys. And then here's like the contents. I'm just looking quick. Part one, identity. Part two, alchemy. This is awesome. Unedited transcripts. Cool. I'm super excited about this, you guys. Have you read this? Let me know. Or did you know of Paul Selig's work? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but you guys, I love this. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I love these types of boxes so much, but we are not done. And again, I will link all the boxes down below, including that one. Um, and they usually have a code, like use code MYSTIC in all caps to save a special discount or something like that. I'll leave that in the descri description too. Um, but that should be like just an option to click when if you do subscribe through CrateJoy. So yeah, awesome. I really like that. I'm super excited. And I love that I just happened to have this book I got in a, like, last year from them. I really have enjoyed this. I got my mom one too and she reads it. It's really nice. <laughs> um, what are you guys reading right now? I just gonna throw it in. Right now, um, I'm reading Autobiography of a Yogi. It's a it's thick. <laughs> I'm more than halfway through and I'm on page like 300. So I got ways to go. 296 I'm on or 297. But this is like well-known book in the spiritual community. I'm finally reading it. It's pretty good. Hi, Emmy. Come here and say hi to everyone. 
Let's move on to the last box, Moonspell Box. So Moonspell Box um, is a ritual box that you get each month. It's not a subscription, so you get to go on their website and choose which you want to get. They have multiple options, and they come out with a new one every month. It's $14.99, and that includes free shipping, and you can find it at moonspellbox.com. I will link them down below. I think it will do the ritual, too. I'll probably um, flip the camera around and go to my little desk over there, but let's see what we got. So you don't need anything from home. Sometimes when I do these um, videos, I'll like suggest things you can add on to it, but you get everything you need to complete the spell. Yep, it is a true spell. So I love the paper they give you. So you can save these too and put it in your book of shadows or whatever you want to do with it. This spell is to help you reveal the truth and clarity you are seeking by focusing your intentions and intuition and allowing guidance from all that surrounds you. So the intentions are to receive truth, honesty, and clarity regarding a, excuse me, regarding a specific situation. The ingredients are lapis lazuli crystal, coffee ground, a blue candle, square paper, and hemp rose. And then there's eight steps to the ritual along with a truth incantation. And you can see that right here. I'll show you guys what's in it, and then let's do the ritual together. I'm trying to think. To receive truth, honesty, and clarity regarding a specific situation. Okay. Um, so everything comes in this box. We have our little paper here and then the blue candle, the coffee grounds are in a little jar. I always save the little jars and stuff that come in this. So super nice. All right. I'm going to see, let's see, do I, should I grab a plate or something? Yeah. It says, um, place a candle in the candle holder or on a fire safe platform. So yeah, you don't need anything just to make sure they want, you know, light, safely fire hazards whatever okay i'm being a big dork okay uh so let's turn this camera around and get some truth <laughs> all right guys here is the piece of paper so i'm thinking the one thing you need would need for home for sure is a pen or pencil or something to write on <laughs> but i'm pretty sure every single person has it so let's read step by step I think I have everything I need without moving. Um, so for the extra things, what I like to do, I'm going to cleanse. You know, I was just talking about how I like Palo Santo. I have some right here. So I'm just going to cleanse the space. Again, you don't really have to do this. You can like, use your intention. Um, so I like to use Palo Santo specifically because it clears the negative energy, but also leaves some good. Like sometimes if you use sage, I mean, there's ethical things with, you know, whatever, um, not whatever, but ethical stuff people have with, um, sage, but also that just clears out like all the energy. So I just prefer Palo Santo also for the fragrance too. So cleansing the space. Whoa, enemy. She's in a big, <laughs> um, cleansing the space. My cat, I got new luggage cause I'm going to Spain and Italy soon. Super excited. And a big box that came in and she's been playing in it. <laughs> if you hear her, that's it. But okay. So let me just move this up a little bit. Place the blue candle in a candle holder or on a fire pl safe platform. I think this is safe, but I'm gonna I have an idea. I'm gonna put it on top of this. It's a little got some ash on it, but it's okay. I like how we have blue for communication. That makes sense. Love that. So place it on the candle holder or fireplace. Okay. Light the candle and sprinkle a small pinch of the coffee grounds over the flame so it drops onto the top of the candle. Do not leave the burning candle unattended. Okay. I'm just going to read through it quick so I have an idea. And then after you um, light the candle, you write down the details about the truth you seek. And then we have lapis lazuli here. And you wrap the lapis lazuli inside the square paper. Tie it with the hemp rope. Focus on the details. Blow out the candle. Unwrap the lapis lazuli. Open the square paper again and set the lapis lazuli on top of it near the candle. Lapis lazuli should stay touching the side with the writing on it and your truth will be revealed. So what's this? There's another little crystal in here. I can't really see if you guys can see it. Ooh, 
Cool, we got something extra. But, okay, I'm pen. Did I finish my thought earlier? Um, blue is associated with communication, so that is great for truth. Um, Mercury would be a great planet to include in this. Um, Mercury Day is on Wednesday. I'm filming this on a Tuesday, which is Mars Day, but that is okay. Just giving you some helpful tips, tips to get a little bit more oomph from your spell if you want to include um, astrology and planetary magic as well. So... Light the, we're going to sprinkle a bit over this, but I'm going to try not to put it out. Someone told me, I like, <laughs> I put it out before by dumping a bunch of herbs. I'm just going to take a pinch, so. It smells good, I love coffee. I wonder if this speeds up getting the truth, the coffee. Okay, write down the details about the truth you seek on the square paper. Okay, I'm probably gonna keep this a little private. Try to. I just realized I'm writing in blue pen, which is like nice too if you you don't want to do the color associations even more. Okay, so now I'll wrap the lapis lazuli inside the square paper. And I'm gonna move the paper towards me since I want this truth. I want it to be like revealed towards me and then move it clockwise. You don't have to do this either. Um, sorry if I'm not doing everything in the way. Now I'm going to focus on the details of the truth I seek and chant the truth incantation. So I will hold this here close to the flame. To see the truth, to know the way, I cast a spell, if only today. By the power of three, I conjure thee to give thy truth unto me. To see the truth, to know the way, I cast a spell, if only today. By the power of three, I conjure thee to give the truth unto me. To see the truth, to know the way, I cast a spell, if only today. By the power of three, I conjure thee to give thy truth unto me. I'm going to blow out the candle. Unwrap the lapis lazuli. You know, I'm going to do what they say, but I'm not going to have it on camera. <laughs> Just for some privacy of what I'm trying to get the clarity on. But I have the lapis lazuli um, on top of it, near the candle. And I'll, leave this and I'll leave the coffee here too to speed it up so I can get clarity um, and the truth quick on what I want. And it says, yeah, your truth will be revealed. Awesome. Cool. So that was everything, you guys. Um, again, I will leave moonspellbox.com below if you want to check them out in their past boxes. You can also check out my past videos as well. Um, we've done like spells for prosperity, protection, a few other things. So I'm actually been really, what I wrote down today is something that's really been on my mind. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, and I look forward to getting clarity and the truth to be revealed to me. <laughs> but that was everything today for, to guys, for today's video. Gosh, you can tell I haven't like, filmed much in two weeks. I'm stumbling. <laughs> 
I am so grateful you guys are here. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. What box do you like the most? Do you have any recommendations? I love these kind of boxes. They're my favorite, but I'm open-minded to any and all recommendations and just hearing your thoughts down below. I love you guys so much. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment, and do something special for yourself today. You deserve it. I love you so much. Bye, everyone.